purple sheep asks, what is their training like if they have training like the tigers? Yes, they do. Komodo dragons, because they are quite intelligent, they do get trained in the same way. We target train Kilat here at the zoo, and they are smart enough that they can be taught to do certain things. And, and this is done through a process called bridge training, where Kilat learns to recognize a certain signal. It might be a click, it might be a verbal cue, and that is associated with a treat. So he'll get a little hunk of meat whenever he hears that particular noise. So in, in a lot of the animals, like the tigers, they use a clicker. Um, and so he comes to associate the clicking sound with doing something right and a reward. That way they can reward him whenever he does something right immediately. So he knows what he's being rewarded for, because if you reward him with the food, he makes a move towards the food and that might take too long. And by that time, the association with whatever he did right is gone. So you need to be able to reward him right away. For instance, they want to get him to move. They've got um, a big red ball kind of apparatus attached to the end of a stick. They hold it out. When they first do this, he's already been trained to respond to a clicker. So when they hold it out, he's naturally interested. Like, what the heck is that? He makes a move towards it. They click and he knows, oh, I did something right. By moving towards that red ball on the end of the stick, I'm going to get rewarded. And he does get rewarded a second or two later. But he knows that association is made in his head. Move towards the ball get the reward, get a click. And then they keep working on that process so that then when he sees the ball at a future date and he's been trained to sort of go towards it, he knows if he comes up and touches it right on his nose, he gets a, a major reward. He'll get a double click and more reward coming. And he realizes, oh, you want me to touch that red ball? And so that's how they can maneuver him around. Plus, like I said, larger species like this, they tend to be more intelligent. Kilat knows his name. He's been called enough by name by the keepers that he'll respond to the keeper. So if they want him to move into the back area, they can just go, Kilat! They open the door, call him, and he comes in like a dog. Now, if I do that, if I say, hey, Kilat, come on over here, he'll just ignore me because he knows the difference between me, who he doesn't see a whole lot, and a keeper who he sees every day. So they're they're pretty smart in that in that way.